Hello there, viewers, and welcome to the Valley Old Farm. Good old farming simulator 22. Now, I'm actually over here at the oil factory, but some news has come afoot, and I looked at my actual uh, contract. Look here, here. Nola. Supply and transport sixty seven thousand. I'm going for this. So, accept contract. There we go. I'm going to accept it. So, that means I have to actually deliver all the canola what I've actually got now to the GCHB. Details on. And that means mission type, net profit, profit per minute. Don't need anything like that. Of course, I need 13,000 liters. I would like it to actually tag the place. So GCHB Grain Elevator. So let's go to you then. You. And that was actually quite easy, actually. Canola is actually up. Oh, three eight two eight. And it is, of course, selling here for three two five nine. But of course, I'm actually going to sell all this for the contract. So where are you? Oh, hello. <laughs> I vanished there for a moment. Where's the map? Give me the map. Where's the flashing beacon? Let me know. Up here. All right, then. That is actually not far away, to be honest. So, how is everybody doing? Hopefully you're doing fine. I need to exit this way. I actually thought to myself, right, I may as well sell the canola for a good price because I need to buy a few things for the next part of my journey on this gorgeous looking map. And I'm like in awe. I need to obviously plan ahead. So I need to find an area which I can actually deforest, then use again later on. I've looked at the map and there is a few places that I can actually do that with. And I need to look for places that have just grass. Slow down here. Like this area here, it's nice, not a field, so it's going to be easy to just flip into something that I need. So I am over here, so go over here, and that is 31,000, so let's just say 30,000 there. And basically what that is, is just empty field. It's not a field as in a crop field. It's just open land, and I can use the open land. I need to actually use it wisely, shall I say, for greenhouses, trees, because these productions will actually give me quite a bit in return. And I would like to actually use the productions while we're actually here. So I need to buy the sawmill or the carpentry place to create the pallets for the greenhouses. And then I need to have a grape orchard. 
So I can actually get grapes and use the actual grape production. Oh, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. There's my field there, so I can just easily cut down, but I need to go to the shop straight after. Come on, come on. There we go. Of course, now that I have got the oil factory, I need sunflowers, canola. What is the third oil? Olive. I need an olive orchard for that, and I would like them to be close, so open areas will be perfect for that. Is it here? Yep. But oh, it's just pointing right at a uh, building, not an actual drop point. I don't want to do this wrong, you know. And that is that. All right, then. Open the cover and deliver. I shouldn't get paid. The money's not going up. But of course, there you go. The small amount that did actually go through, I got paid. Now, going to contracts and complete. So, collect. There we go. Brilliant. Fantastic. There we go. So, that means I have got to deliver cereal, goat milk, or sugar beet. And of course, I can do these contracts at any time. I haven't set any rules that stop me doing natural contracts I just need to find an open field I need to actually go to the shop first so I can actually get something which will help me out with the straw width of the straw is a bit jagged so the bale is going to miss some bits so I'm going to get a front ring rower here we go at the shop and is there anything around the shop yes there is this bit here which is 37 and this bit was 31 so that's just near the bridge and then down here where everything is parked at the moment, I've got 104, which is, of course, 26 grand. That is all lumpy. So, at the shop, I need to go ahead and not be all over the place. Get a ring rower. And I'm looking for the front one. Do you believe it's you? I need the smallest. And that is 10.5 three meters let's get working no you know what let's just keep it as this 10 meters of course it goes up to 20 but i just need it to be 10 meters so let's lease this there we go because i'd rather actually buy the other one because it will suit my needs better than what this will i'm not quite ready yet for big swaths so this will do for now i just don't fancy exiting the game and then loading the map up again to just enable one mod so i'm going to keep with this one that's why i've released it the ones I've actually taken care of, oh my goodness me, sorry, sorry, driving on the wrong side of the road, goodness me. Once I've, oh, <laughs> uh, can you just give me a sec please mate, 
let me, oh my goodness me, look. I can honk my horn too. I just need to get set up. There we go. Have you gone? No, you haven't. So, let's go ahead, lower you in the front. I can unfold. There we go. I'm still going to be in your way, mate. So, just give me a sec. No, that's all good. You're clear to go. So, basically what this does will just make these swaths better for the bailer to pick up. So, turn you on. And that's it, really. That's why I got it. And I'll tell you, sorry. This... seems to be pointless. But you know what? It's working. I'm actually not missing anything. So, that is... Definitely a positive. So I need to actually pick up all this straw, mulch it. That's what I was trying to actually say whilst I was blocking the traffic. I need to take care of this field and then I can actually sell it because I don't need this field anymore. It's too awkward to actually harvest. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it. At least it's money in my pocket, which I actually do need for productions. And automatic drop. There we go. I already have got apple trees growing. But I need greenhouses as well. Let's go like that, get rid of the hood. I'm actually liking this because when I turn, it makes an actual corner for the swath. I don't have to... Oh, goodness me. Uh, who wants to bet that traffic is stopped because of a trailer? Which a nincompoop has 100% oops, put in the way of traffic. <laughs> Eight takers. Goodness me. Whoever did that needs to have their uh, license looked at. <clears throat> Let's uh, just uh, ignore that and uh, continue gracefully down here. Sorry. Leave any? No, I didn't. That's good. This is actually going quite smoothly, to be honest. So I need to pick up the rest of this and mold. So you know what? I'm going to do a time lapse, but it is going to have a mixture of me bailing and mulching. Of course, I'm not going to show you all of it because I need to actually harvest my second canola field and maybe next episode will be the sorghum harvest. Okay, here we go. That is that done. And there's one more line. Well, two more lines of stuff to do. But because of width of this, I'm actually uh, making two to one. Which is fantastic. I didn't do this at the start because the lines were just awkward. 
but it just got easier in the middle if I could actually do it properly. There we go, that is now done. So turn both the door off. You can be lifted and you can of course be folded up. There you go. I have to actually think of how I'm going to actually get all this stuff back. The actual farm. Of course, I have actually got shops at Hamlet. There we go. And of course, I got my own trailer. So I could probably put you on first. There we go. Up you go. And that should be. Okay. Good to go, but it's not. Ah, that's why. Not quite selected properly. There we go. That's on there. That's fine. So, Baylor, you come off. I need to go ahead and put the loader. There we go. I have brought everything that I actually need. Take care of this field. So let's go ahead and go into operation. Oh, and I need to detag that place. So canola and you on tag. There you go. Because if I do a contract in here, I would like it to be 100%. So I know I'm going to get my money's worth. And of course, I need to start from the top and make my way down. This is another reason why I won't actually eat this field. Because it's just too uneven and steep at the same time. This is a good tractor and it struggles. I just need to collect these four. I do believe I will be keeping these bales. I would like to actually get into cows. Come on. Yep. That's done that. Right. Drop. And this is the last one. There we go. I don't know exactly when I will be getting into uh, the cows, but I will be getting into them eventually. That means I need to mulch. And I'm going to actually do this off camera. To be honest, because I rather show me mulching my fields instead of just fields that I'm actually going to sell and um, I do oh, do believe that this says it needs to be yeah lined and plowed I'm going to do it even though I'm going to actually sell the field I'm just going to actually do it there we go a, a lovely field that actually doesn't need anything doing to it so let's go over to here and as you can see beautiful just absolutely so let's go ahead and sell there we go money in the bank now this is one of the areas that I would like to actually buy. It is flat over here, but it just gets uneven over here. Not by much. It's a nice area to start off with. Let's go ahead and buy this place. There we go. And 
and how much does that leave me? 200,000. I need fields. I have actually gone ahead and swapped out the grass field here for alfalfa. So this is grass, and these spots are, of course, alfalfa. I would like to actually have one more field with alfalfa in it. So I know I've got a lot. Here we go. At the second canola field. This one I will be keeping because it's of course connected to the farm. So I need to go ahead. Detach from you. Detach the header. And because the previous episode was of course canola. I'm thinking about only showing a bit of this and doing the rest off camera and then doing the actual sorghum afterwards and showing that off mostly. So let's see. Swap on. Yes, it is. It's fine. Let's go ahead and fold and get going, shall we? There we go. Remember, I don't think I... I didn't think to this field. It was just already planted when I started the game. So I don't expect a big yield from this, but good enough one. Of course, I need to mulch and do any else what this field needs before I actually put anything else into it. I was actually thinking about alfalfa going into here because I'm actually still unsure about where my alfalfa field is going to be. I know the two big fields that eventually I will be buying are going to be my grass fields and that's it. I think that's enough grass for now because they're in a the perfect spot. But, but alfalfa on the other hand, it isn't a great fantastic spot for it to actually be sown in. It's kind of scattered at the moment so I don't know 100% but of course I can actually look at the map look at the acres see which field gives me the most of course as well as the price of the field as well all of this canola will be going towards the production mode but I think I'm not going to actually have time for the sorghum harvest. So I might actually have jump cuts for this field and then the next episode should be of course the sorghum harvest. Getting rid of the field because I don't need it anymore and don't need to lease it. And I'll actually make my mind up where I'm going. I know I bought field 65 but that is just in case I'm going in that direction. The money's gone but if I don't go in that direction I can easily sell it and have the money back and then go right because it will save in that field. I can now go ahead and sort something out. So I need to crack on and actually get this field sorted out. There's quite a bit to do.
I have done the calculations. If I have this field here as my alfalfa, I'll get at least nine acres and then add on top of that the two. So that is 11 acres, maybe 12 acres altogether with these patches here. And over here, the two grass fields, and once they have been put together, you're looking at at least just over 12 acres. So I'm going to sell that field knowing that I'm going to swap this into alfalfa. There we go. So grass, grass, alfalfa, alfalfa, and then this is, of course, least, and then these scattered bits are alfalfa. Sorry for all the confusion. I'm just trying to plan things right so I can actually get things done better in the future. Well, that little bit got missed. I had to actually put this on a worker. And I found out that the worker does not like the auto uh, lifts or the suspension. Each time that I circle through the cameras and it came to the harvester, it made the harvester bounce. So every time I had sight on the harvester, bounce. And that was basically the worker, and I don't know why. So anyhow, that field is halfway done, I reckon. And I have probably got about 20 odd thousand liters in here. Sorry, correction. Near enough 17,000 litres canola in here. And all I've done is the top bit, and that's it. I have actually ran out of time. As you can actually see here, what I've done. And I've run out of time, unfortunately. So. This has to be done in the next episode. So the next episode, I'll be finishing off this field. And I don't know if I'll get on to the sorghum. This has just been a massive field. And I reckon me turning it into alfalfa would just make it less strenuous, to be honest. So you know what? This is the end of the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And please do consider liking, subscribing. It really does help out the channel. And remember, I appreciate you all. And you'll see me in the next one. Bye.